Hello fellow alchemists. Today I will be creating copper acetate. This compound forms beautiful blue-green crystals. It is also a useful oxidizing agent. Copper acetate is created by mixing either copper hydroxide or basic copper carbonate with acetic acid. I start by weighing 10 grams of basic copper carbonate. Then I disregard caution and start dumping 5% acetic acid. About 300 milliliters later, I start mixing the solution. As it mixes more and more copper carbonate is reacting with the acetic acid. I will now place this on a magnetic stirrer and heat to fully react. I really enjoy the color of this compound, so I'm going for a double batch. I first add some more acetic acid and allow it to warm up. After the solution has warmed, I add some more copper carbonate. You see more CO2 gas forming, showing more copper acetate is forming. You want all of the copper carbonate to react leaving an excess of acetic acid. So over time, I keep adding small portions of acetic acid. I keep adding until it seems like all of the copper carbonate is gone, then add a touch more to be safe. Once everything is fully reacted, I quickly filter the liquid leaving a beautiful clear blue-green copper acetate solution. Isn't that just beautiful? This is why I love copper compounds. Now I must boil off the excess H2O. This is my least favorite part of chemistry. I keep switching to smaller containers to evaporate faster. This is going to take a while. So, two chemists walk into a bar. One tells the bartender, I'll have an H2O. The other says, I'll have an H2O too. The second chemist dies. Want to hear a joke about nitrogen oxide? No. Anyone know any jokes about sodium? Nah. I filtered a copper acetate solution once more, because I saw some crud floating around. Are all these jokes too basic for you, because I see no reaction? I'd give you some more chemistry jokes, but all the good ones are gone. The copper acetate solution is now poured into a crystallizing dish. Look at these beautiful crystals left in the beaker. I was going to cool the crystallizing dish with a nice bath, and then filter to collect the crystals. However, with how pure the solution looked, I am just going to evaporate off the remaining liquid. I turn the heat back on low and wait. After a while everything crystallizes hard as a rock, some acetone is sprayed on to try to loosen the crystals from the dish. This doesn't work immediately, so I'll come back to it later. In the meantime, check out this cool bubble that formed during evaporation. Next, a small amount of water is added to really loosen the crystals. This camera really makes this compound look very blue. I have included this video from a different camera showing a more true color with the compounds in the back for color reference. The crystals redissolved. They had to be evaporated off once more, this time with much lower heat and more stirring. Once it was nearly evaporated, the crystals were removed from heat. 
they became a really cool blue-green gooey slushy mess of crystals. Finally after a bit more stirring and time, I was left with the dry copper acetate I've been after. Thank you for joining me on this alchemical adventure.